there's been no injuries. The youth sort of hides plenty of from small arms and then out of the back at Bastion. They're at Bastion on the ground? On the ground at Bastion, yeah. Holes in the aircraft, obviously, it's hitting the youth hides. Do you know how many holes they've got? No. Where were they? Do you know? Goresh, tier 41, it was the third time into this grid, Recent which is time. obviously going to bring up. I mean, that's what, hap that's what happened to us the other night. Chief of Staff's on it. Um, there was all heads, heads on fire about five minutes ago, he called. Right. Um, so that's why I just went to find out. No, no, that's fine. As long as they're on the ground, they're okay. Steph has finally replied to Dan's carefully worded email. Hey Padders, how are you honey? I'm having a great relaxed bank holiday, how about yourself? Steph. I was a little bit disappointed. <laughs> um, you know, after, after really, really trying to, to make her laugh and make a decent impression, I was kind of, kind of hoping for a little bit more, but uh, at least she replied, so, so that's a good thing. One crew from the squadron must always be on standby to fly emergency missions to evacuate injured soldiers from the front line. Today, it's Dan's turn on duty, and he's using the time to do some homework. Um, it's an open university degree in uh, basically religious studies and theology. It's a bit of a coincidence, I, I, I guess, that I'm in an Islamic country. Um, and I'm studying Islam, but um, as I've said to you before, yeah, we're, we're detached from the local populace, we're, we're detached from the Islamic culture which is in the country, so I'm literally in, in the western bubble, um, just, just reading about it really. It's still very early days to be honest, in terms of my learnings on, on Islam and you know, theological thinking and stuff like that. Um, doesn't it? it doesn't really affect me at the moment. I find it very interesting, and I'm certainly oh, learning a hell of a lot. News has come in that somewhere in Helmand, a British soldier has been shot. Cut off the monkey. Am I going out to flash the cab up? The soldier has been classified as a T1, requiring immediate treatment. Still waiting for the nine liners to come in. Okay, well we're gonna fly the cab up. No, wait here for the yeah. whatever happens. Yeah, fantastic. Jules, we're gonna go low level the whole way. Yeah. Right, yeah. Straight line. We'll, um, yeah. uh, we'll we've got release on yeah, yeah, the nine liners. Oh, we'll go then. Hi, boss. Can you stay at low level? We'll chat later. Yeah. The T1, which is. Um, needs immediate surgery, surgical aid. Yeah, so we've got a gunshot wound, which is about 15, 20 minutes flying away. It can take us 10 to fire the cab up, so hopefully be there within 25 okay, minutes. good, good, good. Right, grab the stuff, I've got reach it. I'm gonna go straight in the front, touch it up. Every minute is now crucial. Pre-flight checks on a Chinook normally take half an hour, but today it's different. Okay, that's pretty easy. I've fully called a flight engage. Talk flight is 100% open. You're going to stop. Fuel's coming off. Quick set of scams. Done. Done. Sweet. Okay, right then. If you can just follow me through, please. Somebody, the yeah. matches on the APS, stop on four flight, cross speed off. APC, I'll fully forward a flight engage in. Come to slave instruments, rest and say, warning flights away. Tans, pack, attack, and I have. Everything is looking good. They're ready for Raylars if Nutty is. Yeah, Charlie 7, your side while we're doing it. Let's take that left hand turn now. Alright, just pages bonding 100%. Within 11 minutes, they're in the air and heading straight for an ongoing firefight. Right, we're clearly injured, sir, but uh, the AMP are firing mortars. Cool. Well, we're better at five minutes. Cool, if they're firing bullets, there's chance that the pick's still ongoing, so we'll just be in and out as soon as we can. And, um, 
On board is an emergency medical team, as well as a force protection unit to secure the area when they arrive. And alongside is their escort, the Apache attack helicopter. Roger, mate. Roger, mate. We'll try and make 120 at low level, and that should sit down quite nicely at 110, because we'll be weaving, they won't. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, it's actually staying low at the moment. Okay. Just got a few tents going down the left hand side, the left side, left hand side. Uh, we got a couple of villagers on the nose, so I'm going to go in between the two of them into the valley. Okay, I'm going to be going in between a couple of compounds for about 700 metres of time. Uh, we may stretch the patches if need be, we'll bring the feed back now, and then we're going to accelerate. See what we out there, accelerate back in. Low level later on. Okay. Alright, we're going to do this Uh, without much wind there, Nussie, if you're happy, I'll just go straight in rather yeah. than flapping around doing any turns. Yeah, I'll think it on the way, there's no wind at all, straight in, and then we can come out over the shoulder if need be, depends how yeah. close we are. There's going to be a true fire on the ground and bottles going from the hill, but we're, we're, we're being cleared in. Yeah, but I've just passed that on the two guys up, we'll be getting off. Okay, Pigeon with a few plumes of smoke in the 12 o'clock, that must be from the mortar rounds. Right, two and a half minutes. Despite clearly visible smoke from the nearby firefight, the crew decides to press ahead with their mission. Oh, it's still T1, has it? It's still T1, sir. Roger, one mile, I'm going to start decreasing speed. Cool. That's one mile now. Roger. Yeah, I've got women moving. Expected smoke. Ground speed 50, good height. 45, 40, good height. Down 30, 30, 30 15, 15, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Half on. Half on, sir. Okay, pump brakes on. Oh, it's okay. motor around, clear around, clear through sound. Pump under the moment in the right, two o'clock. Yeah, four forward right, try and start again, Doppler boards for small arms there. With armed Taliban fighters a little over a mile away, the Chinook presents an easy target. When it lifts off, it'll be in real danger of being hit by a mortar or rocket attack. Well, Paddy, if you do it as low as you can while I was watching the rat out throughout, and I'll call right out. Doesn't matter if it's a dust cloud, I'll call right out. Yeah, we'll do, mate. And uh, we don't want to go up high because we'll get fucking zapped. That's more than forward right again, that's small arms still. Yeah. 19 year old Private Christopher Grey has been shot in the chest. Cool, there's fresh um, smoke again. So still yeah. going. Happy. I'm still happy. Are yeah. you okay? Yep. He's uh, coming through the aircraft now. Good. Right then. Everybody happy if I lift? Yeah, go for it. Right. Right, left hand. Ground 7 You're clear above. Thank you. Take my right out, my power. 40, 50, 60. No, yeah, good, right. good references.